sub here because it's a linear sub. It's a sub. Now, what's a function? I just, I'll just collapse this. So a function is pretty much a special type of subroutine. I'll just go private function or write function here instead, and I'll go func linear search. Linear search. Uh, same deal. I'll take in the same inputs, but I'll take in uh, the same inputs. I'll just grab these three. These three. All right, now, and I'll knock off this one. I don't want to use this one. But the function needs to return something, it needs to have an output. And I'm not talking about a, 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 uh, a print output where you print something off. It actually literally needs to return some kind of value. So I'm going to go as integer. It's going to return an integer. It's going to give me back some number. All right. Uh, so what I'll do is I'm going to redesign this a little bit. I'm going to grab all of this code and put it into the function. But now I need to see how you got a bit of an error here. There's no message anymore. I'll just delete that message. You got a bit of an error. It needs to return target. I'm going to return target index. All right, I'm going to return target index, and I won't write anything out. I won't. I won't print anything off. So what it does is, when I use this particular function, I put in the array. I put in a target value. It searches for it. If it finds it, it gives me a value. If it doesn't find it, it will give me negative one, right? And then I can use that. I can use that information. So what I'll do here is I'll write func instead. Func, because now I'm using this one. I'm not using this bottom one anymore. Func, meaning this one does not exist for it because it's only got two here, right? But see that output here as integer? I gotta save it somewhere. I gotta go equals dim dim index index right. And what I can do now is if index is negative equal to negative one, or well not equal to negative one, or not equal is these two symbols, then um, I can go. I can print off my index. I can go, I can go console, not quite line, index found at index. There you go. Woohoo. Oh, I can't use index because I'm using it for the for loop, so I'll use location block. So let's do that. Let's try this one out now. Let's search for three. And it should say index found at three. Oh, error because I need to two string this thing. Two string this thing. Open close brackets. Try that. Index found at three. Beautiful. So the difference between a subroutine is the subversion. I'll just write the subversion. Of, uh, sorry, uh, this one. It, it it doesn't have any output. You can't just use it. Put numbers in. You put some stuff inside it. You put number and target in. Uh, I'll get rid of mm, this thing, right? And there's no equals, and then you, you're saving some some value. You just kind of do something, and and pretty much you do it. You print out something, or you manipulate a global. Whereas a function actually spits something out that you can kind of use. I could now. Now that my function works. 
and it spits out a value, I could use it in my my uh, my subroutine. In the subroutine, I could call the function. Linear search, the, the linear search. Sh shove in whatever the array that this thing gets and the target that the subroutine gets. But this one gets has an output, so I'll capture that output. So what, whatever I put into my sub linear subroutine, which is numbers and target, goes into here, then, then this thing goes off into there, and this goes into there, and then, which then ends up here, and then think something gets done, and then this thing gets fed out, which then comes back here. And at this point, I could go if index not equal to negative one, then we can, you know, console, right, you know, no, console, right line, uh, index found at index. So you notice here, my linear search uses code that are written in a function. So I'm reusing it. And now I can reuse this. So that's reusing that and then I can just reuse that. And that's pretty much a, um, that's pretty much a, uh, a, a function, the difference. You've got an as integer here for the function, some kind of output, and then you need a return some kind of integer. So you're returning an integer. This one just takes in a few things and doesn't return anything. So you need to print things off. Um, there you go. I guess the last thing I wanted to cover is the method, the, 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 the keyword method here. So these are, this is a subroutine. This is a method. Uh, this is a subroutine, this is a function. So what is a method? Basically, the, my method is just like, um, you know, terminology. This subroot, this sublinear search and this sub, this, this function linear search, these two things are methods of form one. They're methods of form one. And what does that mean? It means, let's assume I create a new form. Let's, let's add a new form in new form and let's call let's add a form let's add form two right so we've got form two i've got form one and form two right and i'm in form two right now and let's say uh i i go to form one and i'm going to make these function i'm going to make these functions public shared i think i hope i can make them shared yes i can i'm going to make this public shared no i, I, no, I won't make a shared I'll make them just public. So then I have to talk about what shared means. No, I don't want to do that right now. I'll just go public. And I go to form two. And what I'll do here is um, in form two, I'll just create a form one. I'll go um, dim form one as form one equals new form one. And then if I type form one dot, and I go to functions, these are all the methods for form one, but you should be able to find the two that I created here. Function linear search, and where's sub linear search? Sub linear search, they're the two that I wrote. They're the two that I wrote. See, they're the two that I wrote, I made for form one. And these two things are, Oh, and to be honest, everything, everything that is kind of this, this symbol here, these are all methods and these are all methods. So these particular methods, some of them could be functions, some of them could be subroutines. Most of the, this is a function, this is a subroutine. So a method is basically a function or a subroutine that it lives in some kind of object, some kind of class. So form one has all of these, and I've created two it for two methods for it. One method's a function, and the other method's a subroutine. So that's ultimately what a method is. A method is functions and subroutines of a particular object. And that's pretty much what I wanted to cover today. Thanks for listening.